ideally this happens on a national level, but I, I don't know that we have the political will to achieve something like this on a national level. It seems like it um, it, it evolves in um, in the coasts and kind of uh, works its way closer to the center of the country. Brian, you want to argue with me on that? <laughs> uh, that's that's too broad. Certainly, I'd like to argue with that. The coast certainly can be leaders in a lot that happens in recycling, but don't pick on the center part of the state. There are some really neat examples in Minnesota. Uh, even in Chicago area, they're doing some things that I think are, are, are pretty nice to, to remark. It may be the more populated areas seem to uh, focus on recycling things because they perhaps see more of the impact initially mm -hmm. and more of the populated areas are on the coast. Well, I think if you have a municipal recycling program in place already, then there are no, there are no drawbacks to increasing participation at all. Um, but the question is, what are you really trying to achieve as a municipality? Are you trying to save uh, landfill costs? Are you trying, as Brian points out, to um, bring your city in line into a model of sustainability and all that that entails um, in terms of material sustainability and energy sustainability? Um, and so I think each city and each place really has to stop and, and ask themselves, why, why do we recycle? I, a number of years ago, there was a book that came out by, uh, with that title, Why Do We Recycle? by Frank Ackerman. And I think it's a good question to kind of remind ourselves of on a regular basis because there are a lot of different goals that can be sought through recycling and some of them may be impacted more by recycling than others. But in the end, it's, it's up to each individual municipality to, to have that discussion with their citizens. I'd like to put a, uh, I don't disagree with being said, but I want to put a different uh, spin on a different angle. For those that have worked in a solid waste authority type role that deal with recycling, collection, uh, landfill related costs, and, and all those things, there's a lot of noise coming through. I know, is everyone else hearing that? Yeah. Am I a microphone? It there, sounds it's not... like it's working, Kate. Okay. <laughs> Um, and in that regard, if you, uh, in a system that includes all of that, when they increase recycling, that diverts from the landfill, which is in a lot of ways a very good thing, but it hurts the economy of scale at the landfill, so they raise rates, and so the whole system cost isn't just one-dimensional. It's, it's more comprehensive than that. Right. And right. so we need to look at it in a sustainable way. And I'm not saying diverting from a landfill isn't a good thing to do, but there can be an increased cost there. And we may take on some some new ventures in recycling, such as, is, and I'm going to take maybe an extreme example, having special collection for uh, polystyrene packaging, which might be quite expensive for the volume you get. Um, and so we need to look at the whole package uh, of what it costs. And recycling does have somewhat of a cost to it and there's we're looking at again a sustainability and I'm looking at it as a triple bottom line people planet and profit or the economy and we still need to drive for what is best overall long term and it's not looking at the status quo but there can be unintended consequences when we benefit one aspect of the whole system and not pay attention to what's happening to the other aspects of the system I'm not negating increasing recycling at all but I think sometimes there's some other unintended consequences. You know, I, I would add to that, I mean, relatively minor. I think um, it is important to increase recycling, and I think um, that's a desirable uh, outcome. However, I would say um, that it's not without potential negative consequences. Um, one of them is if you push it too hard, um, the recycling uh, commodity, the quality of the material suffers. Um, you get uh, increased contamination rates. Um, so there are, are some other factors to consider rather than just increasing the quantity all the time. But I, I think those things can be managed and dealt with. It's just a matter of looking at it and ensuring that uh, the quality stays high. 